Hey everyone, and welcome to another current household makeover. We moved them into the mansion, and now we gotta make everything. We gotta update stuff a bit. So this is for Alden's bedroom, because I figured I'd do the teenage boys first. So if you haven't seen the one I did for Dexter's room, go check that out. Um, basically, for Alden, what I've done with the boys ever since, uh, ever since they were well born. I kind of embraced bright colors and all of that because, well, I mean, Dexter was artistic, Alden was, was very clever, and I just felt like, I don't know, I don't know, I feel a lot of times as though with, particularly with boys, people tend to go for darker colors. Now, red is, is more of a typical choice for a male, so that's what uh, Dexter's was, but I mean, that never actually plays into my thing. I mean, I would I would make their room any color I thought was appropriate. In which case, that's really what I went all out and did for Alden. Alden, ever since he was young, he's been wearing dark or bright colors, and I was like, okay, we're just going to lean into this. We're going to own it. So, I, uh, I used some of the new stuff from luxury party stuff and from get to work and all of that. And it was a little difficult finding the lighting I wanted because I know that they've been talking about what 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 did they call it ambient ambient occlusion ambient occlusion lighting which is supposed to be more realistic well it does end up being pretty realistic but ultimately you kind of end up with um, with a little difficulty lighting certain places so yes for Alden's room I thought okay I'm gonna go with rich colors. Uh, to contrast with the bright colors, a lot of black with uh, like a dark brown. And with all or Dexter's room, it, like I said, if you haven't seen that one, go check it out. With Dexter's room, I had sort of a lot of art stuff combined with a lot of the scientific things because Alden, like I said, was, was sort of more scientifically minded, but he inspired his brother quite a bit. In Alden's case, he has a lot of more artistic elements, which is because he was inspired quite a bit by Dexter. And I find this to be the case with a lot of twins. I do actually know several identical twins in real life. And I find this to be the case where their personalities influence each other, even if they're quite different. And I think that Dexter and Alden are close enough that they just like to be reminded of each other when they're not together. I don't know, maybe that sounds weird, but whatever. So yeah, I, I feel as though I kind of achieved a winning a winning look in this room, though. I'm, I really like it. I really, really like it. And um, yeah, I had a hard time finding art that I wanted to use, though. And I think that it'd be nice if there were just more variety. That's what I'm looking for. So actually, we're coming up on the end of the video. That was pretty quick. Please remember to leave a like, and I would love to hear from you in the comments. Let me know what you think of this room. Let me know what you think of how much stuff you have available in The Sims 4, because it's not all that much. Um, other than that, I, uh, I'm open to suggestions for the rest of the house, style types and things like that that we can do for the other rooms. Remember, I've still got to do Susie and Nancy's and the other one, uh, yeah, so. Okay, bye!